Hi, I'm here to take you on a tour. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry, you couldn't hear me. Now, can you, you can hear me now. Hi, I'm Mike, better known as Least Light Critic 75, but you don't want to know that, no. I'm here at Retropalooza 2021. Yeah, that wasn't held last year, you know, due to the, you know, the pandemic. But it's here this year, and, and here I'm going to take you on a little joyful little tour of this fun event. Come with me. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Have you? I haven't seen these since since forever. <laughs> Boy, look at these cool figures. Hello, I'm. I have a YouTube channel. I'm filming this for my YouTube channel. Oh, hi. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Elizabeth. <laughs> and you're selling these cool stuff? Yes, I sell tumblers. And oh. I sell those glasses. Nice. Let's see. Let's take a good view. <laughs> these are your kids? Yes. They look. They're having a blast. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's. Oh, no. Thank you. Well, I'm Mike. Hi. I'm filming this for my YouTube channel. Oh, cool. Hi. What's your name? My name is Kim. Kim, and you sell? Everything I sell. Oh, can I take a grand view? Anime Um, oh boy, yeah. that's something to remember. Yikes. Nice. Classics. Classics. 
Cool comics. Let's look at them. Classics. Oh, it's her. She's dressed like. Who's she dressed like? Uh, like Anna or Elsa. Elsa. <laughs> In the future, if she goes out for it, she could be a future Elsa. <laughs> Never heard of this book. Sorry. Never heard of this before. Mortal Redneck. Oh, I thought I heard about just about everything. Uh. Hi, I'm Mike. Hey, I'm Holt. How are you? I'm doing this for my YouTube channel. Retro Blues, I'm just giving it. I'm sure a lot of YouTubers have done this. Yeah. I thought I'd do my. I thought I'd take my shit turn. Cool. Giving people a tour of retro clothes. Like. There's a lot to see. Right. I even got to look around here. So. Ooh, ultra core. <coughs> I thought I heard about just about everything. Most of those are the kind of recent releases from some of the smaller uh, physical. Game makers, strictly limited, uh, limited run, uh, super rare games. So they'll make a small, basically a small batch of games. And, look at uh, this, Ooh, classic. Look how much, 350. Ooh. Signed by Stan Lee. Signed by Stan Lee. How could you go wrong with that? Oh, I'm just in case you can't understand me behind the mask. Signed by Stan Lee. Look, pretty awesome. I'm going to keep going. Good meeting you, sir. You too. Take it easy. Or maybe you got a bar Look how retro that is. Hi, I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. I'm filming this for my YouTube channel. Okay. What's your name? Scott. Scott? Yeah. Oh. You do this every year? Uh, no, this is the first time I've uh, actually set up here. So this is all your collection, huh? Yeah, I'm a toy guy. Yeah, me too. I could, I got quite a collection too myself in my apartment. <laughs> oh, man. Millennium Folk, and I haven't had that since I was a kid. <laughs> this is cool stuff. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, mm -hmm.
Is it in your bag? Oh, please. Cabbage Patch Dolls. <laughs> See this guy? This is Rocky Johnson. If you don't know who he is directly, he's the father of The Rock. <laughs> yep. Can't you tell by the resemblance? Look at the look at the body build. Too. I got rock down there. The brother, the son, and the, and the dad. Yeah, like father, like son. Yeah, okay. Rocky Johnson. A lot of people don't know that though. What did he eat? I got that bad. I remember us. I remember a story The Rock said about his father wanting to train him to be a wrestler. His father's reply, don't expect special treatment just because you're my son. <laughs> Little did he know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike. Rick. Filming this from my YouTube channel. Awesome, how are you? Good. I, I have a YouTube channel. I'm a, sort of a film critic. Nice. I don't get that many views. It doesn't matter. It's all about the passion, my friend. The passion. I That's should, it. I got to remind if myself. If you're doing it for the views, you're doing it for the wrong reasons, my friend. I got to remind myself. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. Not a problem, my friend. You have, you have a blessed day, all right? You too. Take care. Oh, look. Blue rays. Oh, yeah, this one. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ASS. And I'm all out of bubble gum. <laughs> Couldn't resist that one. Xbox controller game. Prototype. Oh, look at Chucky. He's even. He's even creeper when he's giving a friendly guy. When he doesn't even look scary, he's even creepier. Can't you see? <laughs> of course you can. Oh. Old time retro gaming. Mario. $10. There's two of them in there. Yeah. 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 I'm Mike. Damien. Damien. Do you do this every year? Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Except for last year because of, uh, yeah. of something called a pandemic. Yeah. But we're all here now. And let's all enjoy. Yes. And... No. <laughs> oh, gosh, look at this. Oh, that's you on there. That's me on there. You're... I'm Pat. Pat, the... Talking. You're a YouTube channel? Yep, you got a YouTube channel. I got the books. Right the here. books. <laughs> now, forgive me, I haven't really watched you, but... Tell us what you do exactly. Um, I do this stuff. Do this stuff. I do YouTube, video game years. I, I produce this movie. I've done two books. This movie? Yeah, I was executive producer that came out last year. It's a documentary about game stores. Game stores. Yeah. Are you a gamer? I absolutely, I'm a gamer. Absolutely. You have all game systems known to man. 
I have every game system from the 70s up to 2000 that came out in North America. Wow, he is an ultimate gamer. Yeah. What's your channel called? Uh, I'm Pat the NES Punk. I should check it out. I'm sorry you I should. haven't. I'm Least Like Critic 75. That's my YouTube channel. I just review some movies. Oh, nice. But today, I'm just, since I'm on the, on the trip to Retro, I'm, I'm from there. I'm taking a tour of retro. There you oh, yeah. go. Well, and I, and I just thought I'd, uh, I just thought I'd take a little tour instead of taking you on something different. Hey, when I'm done with the tour, I might, I might, I may consider coming back. Thank you. Nice meeting you, Pat. Same Hi. Oh, that's you. That's me. Yeah. Are you, uh, what's your name? I'm Petit Pika. Nice to meet you. Who? Petit Pika. Petit Pika. Yeah. And you're a, you're a commentary gamer. Uh, I'm already commentary. I'm okay. just a gamer. Oh, are you an ultimate, do you consider yourself an ultimate gamer? Uh, oh man. You mean, like, when you say ultimate, do you mean like a good gamer? Or like yeah. a variety gamer? Oh. Is your face on here? It is, yeah. Hi. Oh, good. good. I'm, I'm Mike. I have a YouTube channel too. Oh, cool. I'm filming this for my YouTube channel. Oh, okay, nice. I'm usually a, a critic. Oh, okay. But I, I'm just doing this. Just this is the first time I'm doing this on on my okay. YouTube channel. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Hopefully it goes on. Yeah, I hope so too. That's awesome. Do you play games as well? Well, I'm. I play some games. I'm not an ultimate gamer like you <laughs> or like some people. I just have a PS4. Okay. That was given to me by a friend. It's a good console. Yeah. Do you have a PS5? I do. You have them all? PS1 through 5? I do. <laughs> Pardon. She rocks! Doesn't she? <laughs> Thank you. That's well, good meeting you. Good meeting you too. Have a oh. good show. Oh, is this an autograph thing? No, but, well, I just have stickers. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll make it to her coming back for them. Okay, sounds good. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. I'm on my back right now, and my head. Hi. Hi. Am I seeing things? <laughs> I don't know, what's up? I'm filming a YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, okay. Good luck. So are you, are you literally the bride of Frankenstein? <laughs> of course not, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good, good, good cosplay. Thank you. Are you a cosplayer? Uh, I do a lot of different things. Cosplay is one of them, yes. Oh. And you're selling... Uh, soap. Dessert? <laughs> sure. Handmade soaps. Oh, soaps. Uh -huh. sound looks good. What's yeah. your name? Uh, Chaff and a Darling. I'm Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Do you have a YouTube channel? Um, we don't do YouTube. We do uh, Instagram and Facebook. Oh, I may consider catching you on Facebook. Perfect. Thank you. Hi. Am I in the Twilight Zone? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's just a bunch of fun cosplayers. They have a, she just said you're y'all have a Instagram and Facebook. We do. We have the, our Fangirls of Dallas um, stream. So we stream every Wednesday together. You don't mind if I film you for my YouTube channel? Oh, no problem. Here. Yeah. So who are you dressed as? Dr. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. I didn't know Frankenstein was this cute. Oh, thanks. And you do this a lot? Yes, so we're we're retro regulars. So regulars. We're here every year. Every year except last year because of something called the pandemic. Yes. That, that, if retro is here, we're here. That's so uh, pandemic yeah. just really kills it all. Oh, and you're selling some cool stuff, huh? Spider-Man vehicle? What is this? It's just a, it's a Corvette, I believe. Stingray, yeah. I believe. Dang, it looked like a Spider-Man Corvette. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> oh, classic. Oh, man, classics. Haven't seen these in since forever. I feel old already. Hello, how are you too? Good meeting you. Good, nice to meet you too. Hi, Hi how are you? Hi, and I'm getting sure with them. Oh, um, we're not a team, but I'm here. We can hang out together. Uh, <laughs> Are you a regular cosplayer? <laughs> uh, this is my first one in public. Oh. We usually do it online. Online? How does it? She how do you? Her own thing. Yeah. She's pretty awesome all by 
Hi. How are you doing so far? I'm How's it going? Good. How's it going it's so far? I love it. It's one of my favorite things. Elvira, your favorite character? One of my favorites. She's gorgeous. Uh, who's your other favorite? You don't mind me asking? Uh, I do love Miss Frizzle. That's a one from Magic School Bus. Who's that? From the Magic School Bus. Oh, it was a 90s cartoon. Her. Yeah, I love to do that one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. And you have a little dagger there. <laughs> What's a dagger? <laughs> What's it? I forgot what that dagger's for. It's just part of her outfit. I don't want to find out. I don't want to be on the wrong end of it. That's for sure. I wouldn't want you. Wouldn't want you to either. Right. <laughs> well, good meeting you. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you as well. Hello. Hey. Hi. Well, you know my friend Byron. Scott. I am. See, I know that. Thank you. I love that. You know Scott <laughs> from so uh, Mardi Gras oh, Gaming. Her. Yes, yes, yes. She's my favorite horse. We do this almost She's every so year. Fun. Except. She's about Except last year, because of something called the pandemic, I mentioned that too many times. I got to quit. Hey, I'll come out this way if you want a picture. Sure. Okay. I'll just show them what I got so far. Show, show us what you got, buddy. I got yeah, a picture of Vira. I'm sorry, movie butts, please. We'll just, movie butts. We'll just do a pick okay, up later. Sure. Pick up later. Sure. And I'm gonna introduce you to Scott's wife, if you haven't already known. Oh, this is Scott's wife, Tara, if you, uh, in case you didn't already meet her. This is your first year at Retro. Tell us what it's like been like so far. So <laughs> yeah. far, cool. Exciting. That woman over there, I love her. Oh yeah, big Elvira fan. I love Elvira. <laughs> oh yeah. I took a picture of myself, so. <laughs> of course, how could you resist? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it. Did you find something fun today? A lot of Zena figures. Hello. How are you? Are y'all YouTubers? Yes, sir. Do you have a channel? Yes, that crystal's right there. Can you change your mind? Crystal? Crystal, yeah. We do uh, retro and modern gaming and uh, 90s nostalgia. Uh, are you, would you consider yourself ultimate gamers? Yeah. I'm what about a, uh, you? Yeah. Are you a gamer? Yes, yeah. Say hi, Jay. <laughs> he did. Who are you? You don't mind me asking who you dressed as? I am dressed as Cassandra for Resident Evil Village. Oh, I should have known that. <laughs> I only get it from watching the movies. I played the game, I 100 percent it, so I'm like a big fan of the game. She's not in the movies, is she, Cassandra? <laughs> really? Probably. So I ended up dressing uh, up. Cassandra's not in the movies, is she? No, Cassandra's not in the Bummer. I'm an interesting character and she's not in it. Yeah. She is ready for the slot. <laughs> I might check y'all out. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That is awesome. It's in winter. You got some awesome stuff. Young blood. Young blood figures. It's an easy hunt. This is cool. That is cool. This is cool stuff. I love it. I love it. Enjoy. You do, you do this every year? Uh, actually, this year is my first year I decided to cosplay. Ah, uh, how's it been so far? It's been fun. It's been fun because it's not only the whole dress-up factor is like getting into character, being the character, so it's, it's a fun experience. Is it fun to really get into character? It is. It is. Especially if I identify with our character. You identify with Cassandra a lot, I huh? I do. Awesome. The Good meeting you. Yeah. Uh, I, might, yes. I may consider being back. <laughs> yeah. The game is crazy. Uh, Have you played it? It's... I've got to the part where, I guess, Hi. Hello. I'm Mike. Me, I'm me. And you are? I'm Ron Chong. And you do you do this every year? Uh, I come whenever he comes. How's it going? I'm Mike. I'm at least like I have a YouTube channel, at least like Critic 75. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. I usually film, I usually review movies, but this year I thought I'd give a tour of retro. Nice, man. Well, you picked a good con to come to. I mean, retro balloons is great every year. Oh, yeah. I, I made the art here. <laughs> I've seen a lot of YouTubers do this, so I thought, why don't, why don't I do my share? <laughs> yeah. There's always room for me. <laughs> yeah. Always. Good meeting, y'all. Good, good to meet you, too. Uh, How's it going? Hey. Uh, you okay? Okay. You having fun? Yeah, I'm, I'm Mike. Hey, Mike. Nice to meet you. Sure. I'm Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> okay. and, and you do this every year? 
Uh, yeah, I've been here. Except last year. <laughs> well, I've been here last year. I was in uh, Houston, the Triple Blues almost every year. Is that from Houston? Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, I've been to this one twice. This is my second time. Do you have, a, do you have any YouTube channels? I do. It's, uh, it's called My Retro Life. There's a channel down there. Oh, is that you? That's me, yeah, when I was like five years old. Was this a commercial? No, this is my, so my dad used to film all this old home movie footage back in the day. That's your dad? That's my dad, yeah. I see there was a... Yeah, there you go. And, uh, yeah, he, I turned the show, I turned all the home movie footage basically into a series. So, uh, the series is called My Retro Life, and uh, it's been on, for, been on YouTube for a while. You got a lot of subscribers? Oh, up to 20,000. Still might be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 20,000. It's awesome. We're, we're working our way. That's awesome. Yeah, it's totally <laughs> awesome. I would love for you to check out the show sometime if you haven't seen it. Yeah, I should. Uh, what is it? My, it's called My Retro Life? My Retro Life, yeah. I'll give it a look. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, man. And I'm at least, like, at least like Critic 75. Okay. In case. If you leave a comment, and then I'll, I'll know. Like, oh, okay, that, was, that was Mike. I only do... I only yeah, do like two videos a month. It's hard. It's hard to. It's hard to find like time to review, do. I like to review. Most movies I like to review are very retro movies. So okay, sweet. Like oh, yeah, yeah. My retro life. The banner's right down here. I don't know if you've seen that one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you don't mind me filming? Yeah? I don't mind you filming. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll give you another look. I got YouTube channels as well. Totally. Yeah, he's he's Marty Gras Gaming. Marty Gras Gaming. Okay. Yeah, if you guys if you guys leave comments, I'll like kind of remember the names. Yeah, it's okay, I see. Nissan, Rus, Nissan, Light Critic 75. Okay, okay, awesome. I picked 75. That's the year I was born. Yeah, comment in the video, and I'll be like, oh, that's the new person. Oh, it's good meeting you. Hey, good to meet you too. Thank you guys for coming. No, anytime. Okay, I've seen a few videos before. And that's Pixel Dan, right? I want to copy that, by the way. Huh? I want to copy that, by the way. Hey, Pixel. Dan. Hey, hey. Can I film you for my channel? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and this is Pixel Dan's wife. Hi. What's your name? Christina. Christina. Glad okay. you're here. Here I am. What's up? Tell us again what you thought about uh, Masters, Masters of the Universe Revelation. Revelation? Yes. Well, I thought it was okay. I'm very in the middle right now because I'm waiting for part two because I want to see the whole story together before I feel like I can properly judge the whole thing. <laughs> Has things that I like, has things that I'm uh, on, so we'll see. Did you hate how Tila was portrayed? I, that was honestly my least favorite part. I just, I really love Tila. I was really excited to see a Tila centric story. I was a little let down by how mean she was. <laughs> and oh, I, yeah. I understand what they were going for. You know, she went through some trauma. Everybody reacts to trauma differently. This is why I'm waiting for part two to see how the whole thing concludes. So I like the idea they gave Evelyn they built gave Evelyn more of a character. Evelyn was my favorite part of the show, honestly. Evelyn and I was really into Orko's story arc. I liked oh, Orko's yeah. arc. So yeah, I liked them all. I mean, yeah, good. I mean, I understood what it was trying to do. Sure, no, that's great. A lot of people didn't like it because He Man wasn't in it as much. I, yeah, 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 yeah. And you know, I felt that a little bit, but I think it's. I, I'm so glad that people enjoy it. You know what I mean? It's not going to be for everybody. And you, I hear you like to collect Disney figures. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. Are you a are you a collector like him? Not as big. Not, but, not um, to my level. Yeah, not to his <laughs> not level. Not to my level. What about your toy room? <laughs> oh, it's a disaster right now. <laughs> <laughs> I said the first time I saw it, I said that's like a museum of toys. That's like a museum of toys. It's a museum. That's I said, what I'm going for. I said people, could, you could people, you could pay people could pay you twenty bucks just to come <laughs> just around and look at it. Look at it? <laughs> yeah, it's, I know. I'm missing out on some side a, hustle here. It's a cool. It's a cool museum. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> I guess she's. Yeah, I'm here with my book. The book. Yes. That's your book? That's my book. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. You wrote that? I wrote this. I took the photo the, all the photography in there. So, me and a team of people that helped me out. So, yes. Yeah. Well, I, I'll, I'm going to film some more. I'll consider coming back. All right, man. Nice to meet you. Good seeing you. I would. I was actually working on a... I didn't think about it at first. A, a, a hack of this game once, and I gave up, so I was like, oh. But, it's alright. You see anywhere good? Yeah. I say it's like actually writing my own.
I don't have a cool signature. It's like I'm paying the rent. Well, oh, there's a line here. I'll come back to this later. <laughs> okay. Why? Well, fun. Well, fun. Okay. Look me up. I'll be on. I can go to Yeah. Hi, I'm filming this from my YouTube channel. Hi there. Hi. Yeah. Go Skittles. I'm on there. It's from the Game Chasers movie. You all Game Chasers? Yeah. I was eight years ago. Well, I, I thought I'd do a little my tour of retro. So is this your first? It's not your first time here, huh? Um, I've been here for a few years. What, you like it? Are you a gamer? Um, I play games, but it's mainly him. Are you an ultimate gamer? I'm not ultimate. <laughs> I'm not ultimate, but I play. Nice shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. You too. Yeah, it's coming from the movie that we have coming up. So yeah, I try to find shirts that are very retro-y, as you can yeah. see. Yeah, this One of my favorite be, movies when I was a kid. It's going to be a Ghostbusters parody. Ghostbusters. Are you excited about the Ghostbusters movie? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I'm going to be there day one to see it. I hope so too. It's a shame there won't be no Egon. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. But I'm sure they'll have a tribute for him in the movie. Oh, yeah, he's better. <laughs> How's it going? What's up, Gary? Nice Leon out. Well, nice meeting y'all. Thank you. I'm more of this crew. Friends of them. How's it going, eh? So you're John St. John. I are. The voice of Duke Nukem. Nice to meet you. Balls of steel, awesome. baby. I'm so glad you... I love I you don't... remember stuff. Give me just a second. Just a second. Just, I'm, I'm, I haven't finished with Travis yet. Oh, of course. Oh, my apologies. No, that's because I'm asking you about work. Yes. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. My camera wants to come on. Or... But I feel like we need to... We need you bet. Nice seeing you again, Travis. See you again at the next convention. Take care, man. I got it. Which one? Oh. <laughs> See, I was thinking Dead Baby before I said it. So. Cool costumes. Thank you. It was the director who caused the like by the way. I've been with her forever. Yes, sir. Can I get a little interview? A little interview? Yeah. Um, it, let, let me get a couple of people through here and then, then, no, we can, then we'll talk about it. Okay, uh, how did you, how are you, how did you find the character, I mean, how was your voice approached to the character of Duke Nukem? Oh, um, George Broussard, the guy who really created Duke Nukem, I was on the phone with him for an audition, and, and his thought originally was that uh, um, um, Charles Bronson was a badass, and he thought something based on Charles Bronson. I went, oh, Charles Bronson sounds like this. And he goes, no, that's not it. And the director in the studio with me said, no, think of uh, Dirty Harry, Clint Eastwood. And, and I said, uh, if you lucky, we'll do you pump. And he said, okay, now lower that by an octave because Duke is roided out. And I went, if you lucky, we'll do you punk. And he stopped me right there and said, okay, you got it. That's the one. It was that easy. That was easy. Have you done any other voiceovers besides Duke? 
Uh, well, uh, uh, where's where's the all of these guys? I'm in uh, like 300 games and I've done like 600 voices. So, yeah. Have you ever done any? Have you done any acting or just voiceover? Uh, acting in, in animated features, yeah. And you? Nope, I'm just here to look pretty. She's my manager. Well, she's doing a good job. I know. And you? I just work here. <laughs> okay. How much an autograph? They're 30. 30? Huh? And I think wait, I'll... Wait, hand me that. Give one to Mike. And you? Me? I'm, I'm Mike. I, uh... <laughs> I have a YouTube channel called Least Like Critic 75. Mike is famous for his YouTube channel. Why is there a stripe across my face? What stripe? This? Huh. Look, 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 I got a stripe across my face. Look, and you do too now. Oh, that's just the God smiling upon you here. That's his favorite. Yeah. I want to, thank you. Can I get a poster for my friend Mike? Because he, he didn't, he, he wanted to come, but yeah. But he flaked out? No, he, he fell ill. Oh, Appendix. I'm sorry, he's ill. Oh, that's well, well, let's And he, Mike, Mike and not me, another Mike, but of course you knew that. <laughs> but uh, he really wanted to get. That way he can write something. Okay. Oh. Hand it over. <laughs> I can always touch myself. I from dude. Yeah, he, he really wanted to meet you, and he's probably disappointed he couldn't come. What's his illness? He had appendix. He he what? Had a appendix problem. Oh. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is for my friend Mike Yuspa. I hope I pronounced his name right. Yes, Mike. Hey, it don't matter. This is good. This will be perfect for saturated. Let's see, what's a good appendix joke? Yeah, we can actually see the wheels turning. I need an appendix joke here. Let's see. Uh, you're laughing. What are you thinking? Um, okay. We can put the closer in the bag. Keep it safe. Sure, you had to bust your gut. <laughs> Suck it up and be a man. <laughs> You're so mean. Yeah, Mike has a good sense of humor. <laughs> well, just in case, I'm writing. Just kidding, because. You made me worry about it. Well, he's, you know, dying. He's not dying. It's appendicitis. No, he's... He might be man sick. He just couldn't travel. He just wasn't fit to travel. Yeah, he just couldn't travel. Hey, Mike, are you man sick? <laughs> man up. Balls of steel, Mike. Pay for it. All right. Here you go. Oh, she does all the transactions. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. I, I've never... never Never understood, never got into Duke Nukem, but maybe I should. <laughs> maybe you should because, uh, I mean, it's outrageous. There's play, play the Duke Nukem Forever game, it's so interactive. I will do so. Good I, meeting you. The game starts with you standing at a urinal peeing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shocked that's your Duke for you. <laughs> it is indeed. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Mike. Good nice meeting Mike. you, John. Don't, don't forget. Hold on, Michael. We got to get oh, of course. Of course. That because Mike would be so disappointed and he'd bust another guy. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to drive away. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. Hi there, you think it's okay. Hi there. Hi. Um, I want to do a job. Uh, I'm actually getting accepted as an intern uh, at... I, I do a lot of work with animation. Um, I'm not, I'm, I thought she was going to steal it. Because, um, Here. Like put it in a bunch of crazy things. Here, can you hold this? I got three things back here. Can you hold it? Um, I know a lot of the producers. Yeah. A lot of the directors, a lot of the actors. Paid for it already? I am one of the actors. Huh? Paid for it? Yeah. Classic gaming. Yeah, brother, let me know. Oh, I will. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Well, for sure. Sega. Right, you too, man. 
How are you? I'm filming this for my YouTube channel. Nice, I appreciate that. Hey, I'm I'm Mike. What's your name? Alec. How long? You've been doing this a while? A long time, my friend. A long time. Uh, of course, because of last year, because of the pandemic, unfortunately. Yeah. I Probably appreciate you working. swinging by. Oh, yeah. You do, are you a regular gamer? Oh, yeah. Do you have every game system known to man? Uh, no, definitely not. I sell a lot, so I don't I don't end up keeping a lot. What game have you both most beaten a lot? Uh, you know what? Lately, it's been Streets of Rage 4 I've been having a ton of fun with. Ooh, good yeah. choice. That, uh, that soundtrack is phenomenal. Shaq Fu wasn't a big hit when it first came out. It was not. <laughs> but the new game is actually fun. It is. It is. That's basically what I was buying. A $15 DLC behind uh, yeah. yeah. the yeah. yeah. It's something a lot more. Yeah. Uh, that's not even, even except for the free to play game. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, I know microtransactions. Huh? Microtransactions, like, you, like, like in-app purchases on a free-to-play game or... Like this is a real story Old school gaming, let's take a look. Good shoot em up. Is. Great shoot em up, huh? <laughs> Ooh, Tekken, classic. You know, this is a, one of a few games that wouldn't, I had to line up just to play, you know?
multi-peed. Interesting. Classic Street Fighter. Man, this this ruled the, this game ruled the arcade days. Probably still does. Beast Busters? Ooh, nice. I don't remember. Plug it in, they're meant for arcade games. But like, you could actually use it because I got Street Fighter 30th anniversary. Uh -huh. And basically the, it's like a, it's like, you just like, it's like arcade stick. Just don't use it too much on that one because it gives you cramps. Of course. You don't mind I'm filming this for my YouTube channel? Uh -huh. Oh, hey, what's up? You don't mind I'm filming this for, filming you? Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, hey, by the way, uh, my name is The Clayberry. I'm, I'm also Mike. a YouTuber. You're also a YouTuber? Yeah. What channel do you have? Uh, the Clayberry. It's uh, it's the and Clayberry, but there's no space. So let me spell it out to make you? it easier. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, but I haven't posted on it in a long time. So what you do? Um, what do I play? Y'all y'all collaborate? Um, uh, we I've collaborated with him once. Yeah. But what I did is I I used to do a lot of projects, but recently I've been started making it as a gaming channel because I wanted to start fresh and if I and I'm. I have I have friends and they were asking me where do I need it to go. I said in order, in order for me to go continue my channel, I need to go back to the beginning, which I had another channel by the name of Star Clay 64. So I mostly I've been doing let's plays, walkthroughs, just teaching people how to beat these games. Are you getting a lot of views? Depends. Depends. You got it's, a lot of subscribers? I have 200. Wow. Yeah. What about you? I only have like 10, 10 or 11 subscribers. Oh, uh, you, you'll, you'll get to it. What y'all? What's your name? Um, my my U, U, YouTube name or my real name? Your real name. Josh. What's your What's your YouTube name? Uh, I think it's uh, just Parsible. Oh, Parsible. Uh, yeah. Um, and my name is after my YouTube channel, the Clayberry. So mine's I'll have to is check Clayberry. them out. I'll have to check them out. <laughs> what about you? What? Are you a YouTuber? I am. Mine's new voices. Huh? New voices. What, what, what kind? Uh, voice impressions. I do voice impressions. I do gaming. I just a lot of, a lot of stuff. Hang out. So you're just a regular voice actor? Yep. 
What's your, what's your YouTube name, channel? Oh, Luke Voices. L U K E Voices. Ah. Uh, <laughs> any 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 of your most popular ones? Um. No, I can't say. A lot of people just love me to do uh, my uh, basic Scooby Doo and Shaggy's. You know, boy, dude. Man, it's so good to be here. What's your name? My name's Luke. Luke? Yeah, it's my actual name. Mike. Nice to meet you, Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet both of y'all. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. I have to check y'all out. Yes, please do. I ask, but not nice. Hope I can meet this time. You just got to Here. It's your time. Only they're not going too good this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't you just love her. The only thing I need for you to sign is about that. Have a great weekend. Watch out. Not panic. You know, well, thank you. Thank you so much. No, but yeah. Oh, um, most of the time, pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. How much? How much do you Well, I mean, I've signed most of. The, yeah, I've signed everything from ones that are this big to the build a bear ones, you know, which are big. Um, and I usually sign them right on the on the belly, you know, and it usually turns out pretty good. So, I'll be here today. He's nervous tomorrow. for some reason. He shouldn't be talking to you. He wanted to meet you. Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know if you saw the post that uh, 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 the uh, uh, main uh, villain. Uh, uh, they're not too scary. They're just like a regular guy. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a regular guy with a versatile voice. Yeah. Put it that way. Because so, I can do everything from that to singing first tenor. So, I'm kind of a lyric tenor. I can sing baritone good too. Which one pays better? <laughs> None of it pays good. Oh. I don't get royalties on video games. That's right. Now, Bummer. High school with actually decent friends with Newton Pitt, all these guys. Translations from the man, I never could tell. Yeah. Yeah, nope. It's like you're famous. No, I, uh, out there in the hotel parking lot, I have a uh, 2013 Kia Soul. It has a better body style. And it's black on black on black. <laughs> Bad looking car. So, as it turns out, the Jupiter Suite is always. Hey! Hi! Hey! 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 You want me to say stuff because if you want me to say stuff specifically, then Gracie. Oh, yeah. Gotta feed my agent. So you're the voice of Bowser? Yep. How long have you been doing that for? 17 years. 17 years. Yeah. And how did you find that voice for Bowser? It's an interesting question, really. Um, the original, or the actor before me, was Scott Burns. And when I, audited, when I auditioned for it, uh, they sent me his tracks and the lines from Sunshine. So I did my best voice match. And then after that, it just developed into a deeper and deeper and deeper thing. So it's, instead of being kind of humanized, like Mario, you know, more. <laughs> so, yeah. I just sort of. I don't even know how I developed it. It just happened. It just came to you, huh? Yeah. You don't mind if I film this on my YouTube channel? Well, I mean, you already are. <laughs> you don't mind? Nah, we'll be alright. Okay. Hey, I look pretty good. I was really sweaty earlier, so. I don't notice. Now this looks better. They finally cooled off in here. <laughs> Which one's your favorite one you voiced so far? Meowser. Meowser. Yeah. Someday if we can make this really big. Meowser Meowser was difficult. So. Do you have a YouTube channel or are you just a voice? I do have a YouTube channel, but I'm not active. You know, it's like Kenny James from Bowser's basement. <laughs> you got any more upcoming projects? Um, 
all the time uh, anime. Lots of stuff for Funimation all the time. It's more fun being a voiceover actor, huh? Love it. Absolutely love it. I don't make I don't make a ton, but I make enough that I don't have to do my old job anymore. But you're having a but you have a good passion for it. Oh yeah, I absolutely love acting. All acting, stage acting, uh, voice acting. All I love all of it. Have you done any film acting? No, I haven't. I was in a short film once, but my I was an extra and I didn't even make the cut on that. <laughs> Bummer. When they when they put it together, I was like, oh look, I didn't even make it, but I still have a credit for that. That's great. <laughs> you any, have you done any other voice actors besides Bowser? Voice oh character? yeah, lots of lots of stuff for anime. Oh. Yeah. Any other any of your well, favorite? Well, I mean, and other stuff like me interrupting your uh, Spotify playlist to tell you about Post-it notes, you know, or or chili cow ice cream, you know, something like that. You know, run a mill, run of the mill stuff. You know. Well, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, appreciate you. How much owe you? Bonk. How much owe you? Well, <laughs> normally, uh, voice recording would be fifty bucks. So I give you fifty. Sure. Why not? All right. Let's say goodbye first. I guess it. Well, thanks for this little tour of retro with me. I hope it was fun for whoever is actually watching. But I met some interesting people and. All right, we'll talk later. Bye-bye.